Hello, everyone, and welcome back for another episode of the Outdoor Adventure Series podcast, where we celebrate individuals and families, businesses, and organizations that seek out and promote the exploration, stewardship, conservation, access, and enjoyment of the outdoors. Earlier this year, Uncruise Adventures invited me to join their small ship, Wilderness Discoverer, for a week-long cruise. We spent two full days in Glacier Bay National Park, seeking out the region's glaciers, exploring the shores and fjords of Tongass National Forest and the Tracy Arm Fjord, and searching for wildlife, including bears, whales, mountain goats, sea lions, otters, eagles, and more. This series of short episodes includes interviews with guests and crew who volunteer to share their stories. We hope you enjoy them. We are back uh, here in uh, Glacier Bay National Park, and we are sailing on Uncruised Adventures, Wilderness Discoverer, and I have the pleasure of uh, introducing you to Mike and Carol out of Denton, Texas. Mike and Carol, thank you for joining me on this short podcast episode. Oh, you're welcome. Anything we can do to help. Fantastic. Now, I have to ask, how did you decide, gee, let's do a cruise in Alaska? Well, we wanted, we knew we wanted to come up and cruise Alaska. We don't like the big ships. Uh, we wanted freedom to kind of do what we want. And we started looking at the small boat cruises. Um, we had narrowed it down to two. And uh, Uncruise had the, the, I guess, the leg up on the other other small cruise ships around here. And then it was within our budget. Yeah, we we did a lot of research. When I say we, I mean Carol did a lot of research. And because uh, there's tons of information that's out there now about all the different cruises. And so we spent a lot of time looking before we decided. Again, it was, it was we didn't want, we wanted to be more intimate. We wanted to be away from ports. We wanted to be out in the wilderness. We wanted to do different things. And so we, we kind of had a list of things that we wanted and we started checking those off and Uncruise seemed, seemed to be the one that checked off all of our boxes. That's excellent. Now I have a question. You don't come on a cruise like this and not expect to go out and explore. Would it be safe to say that the two of you are very much into the outdoor space, whether it's the stars, the birds, the hunting, the fishing. Absolutely. And that, again, that's one of the things that, that we chose on this cruise instead of a big boat cruise was getting outside, touching and feeling. And uh, we, we've gotten all that so far. That's excellent. Now, what did you both do yesterday and kind of just get acclimated just to being out here in nature? And by the way, seeing all this blue sky, because I, I didn't expect to see this. Oh, it's absolutely lovely. Yeah. So we had never kayaked before, but uh, there was a lot of kayaking on the itinerary. So we decided that we would try it. And so we, we kayaked and we didn't tump over. I actually had a, had a good time. And so this will be one of the things that we're going to be doing further on into the cruise. Yes, so yesterday afternoon and today has been awesome. It was so rainy and cloudy and miserable in, in Juneau. And yesterday morning didn't start out the best. Um, weather-wise. Weather-wise. And it cleared up while we were out kayaking and we came in and it was just, it was just awesome. And the cruise up to the Marjorie Gl Glacier and the sunset there, it was just amazing. Seeing it cat, hey, we got to kiss, catch it calving four times in the evening, and it was just awesome. Saw a couple of bald eels on the floats, a couple of otters, some seals. Not that, big. It was just an amazing time. And today is running from the bear. Well, I'm not I'm not supposed to get to today yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell you what, let's talk about today. What were your what was your selection this morning? So this morning we decided that we would do the ice walk. And so we got on the skiff with about six other people. We rode to the Glacier 
and we we jumped off the boat and we looked at where all the I guess ice cubes or not ice cubes all the icebergs had calved off and had blown up against the shore and so it kind of gives you a, a little bit of a perspective on just how big these things are and during that time we got the call that there was a bear near us so we all had to load up get back in the in the skiff and get into a safe area and then on the way back we were able to to see that bear and watch the bear for a little while so it was it was one of the things again that that we checked off was the bear yeah it, it was just awesome we we were out there and meandering through the the different, I believe they were called growlers, the smaller icebergs. And we were meandering through there across the moraine. And like Mike said, we got, we got the call. There's a brown bear near us. And so we headed uh, back to shore, got the, there was two groups. We got the groups together in a small group. The guides were awesome. I made sure that they were between us and the bear called for the skiffs and it was it was very felt very safe and it was it was awesome that's excellent and and i was out there too and i think it was very special not only to see the, the what the the growlers you said the row yes yeah the and it, they were so blue and i and i i kind of felt like i wish i could chip those off and have a cocktail with the <laughs> ice but now what do you both have planned for tomorrow Tomorrow we're doing two adventures. One of the things I really like about Ben Cruise is they give you a lot of options. So if you're a really gung-ho, going to bushwhack and, and hike for five miles, they've got that option. If you want a milder adventure, they've got that option. And if you want to really kind of sit back and take it easy, they've got that option also. So tomorrow... We chose the uh, Eco Walk. So we're going to walk the tidal basins, take a skiff, go to the tidal basins and walk around. And then we're, the second choice we had was just get in the skiff and, and do a lot of exploring because you can cover a lot of ground like that. Me, I'm going to be looking for bears during that, during that skiff ride. That's, that's what I hope to find is another bear. That, that's excellent. I think I'm going to be joining you on, on the skiff. And by the way, uh, Mike, I've noticed that you're an early riser and there's a 7 a.m. activity that you are partaking in. Yeah, it's, it's stretching. And uh, to tell you the truth, I don't stretch at the house. Uh, however, uh, the sun comes up really early here and it's just beautiful outside. So I'm going to partake. And so, yeah, and the stretching after the kayak ride the other day, I think, Help me also. I think I would agree with that. Now, Carol, are you into some of that stretching? I'll roll over and go back to sleep for a little bit longer. <laughs> Carol, you are also a very smart woman, I might add. I, I tend to get up early and I get my cup of coffee and I, I don't often partake in the uh, stretching. I think that was fantastic. Now, I do have to ask, how are you feeling about the, the service and the food and just the just the coat again, the, it gets back to some of the coziness you were talking about, but how, how, what's the service been like and the food like for you? Well, first of all, everybody is super duper friendly. They say hi to you. They smile and, and it's, what do you, what do you need? What, what can I do for you? And so the service overall has been outstanding. You don't have to worry about your coffee cup running dry because there's going to be somebody there to get you a fresh cup of coffee. If that's what you want. The food has been really good, and it's it's varied, and it, they give you a couple of options. If you want to be the more healthy option, they've got that. If you want more of a meat or fish or chicken option, they've got that. And so food's been really good. Desserts are good. Um, snacks are good. So you're not you're not uh, you're not going to be hungry on this one. I think you are very true on that. Great food. Mike, Carol, it's been a pleasure uh, to have you on the short episode of the Outdoor Adventure Series and sharing a little bit about your uh, interest in Uncruise Adventure and your experiences uh, and your time together uh, here on the Wilderness Discoverer. And thank you again for uh, joining me for this short episode. You're, you're very welcome. It was I, our pleasure. It was I great. Can, I can say if, if you want to 
uh, cruise to Alaska and put your boots on the ground, this is a great way to do it. Amen to that. I totally agree. All right, folks, we're going to end this uh, short episode now. I want to thank uh, Mike and Carol from Denton, Texas. And this is Howard Fox from the Outdoor Adventure Series podcast, recording from Glacier Bay National Park. And it's a beautiful sunny day, and it's time to go look at some scenery. Take care now. To learn more about Uncruise Adventures, visit their website at uncruise.com. You can also learn more on their social sites, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter. If you enjoy podcasts devoted to outdoor adventure, find us online at outdooradventureseries.com. And remember, we welcome likes, comments, and sharing. You can also find us on our Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and YouTube pages by searching for Outdoor Adventure Series. And you can also find us on all of the leading podcast platforms. All the links that we mentioned just now can be found in our show notes for this episode. Take care, and until next time, we look forward to having you join us for a new episode of the Outdoor Adventure Series Podcast.